Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you stopped by today. If you like my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. If you want more easy, budget-friendly DIY videos, be sure to subscribe. I post new videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. Okay, let's get started with today's project. The supplies that will be needed for today's project is a flower pot, which is approximately four inches, a glue gun and glue sticks, nautical twine, scissors, acrylic paint, decorative bees, and ribbon. Hi, I'm starting off the project by running a thin bead of glue along the bottom edge of my flower pot. I'm taking my rope twine and I'm pressing it into the glue, holding it firmly to make sure that it stays attached. And I just continue all the way around the pot until I reach the beginning. I then simply take the glue and keep running it on top of the where the nautical twine is and I'm pressing the nautical rope in firmly. I continue doing this all the way up until the end of the pot. Once my rope reaches the top of the pot, I continue coiling it around until the entire top of the flower pot is filled in, leaving about a quarter of an inch free at the top. I determine how long I want my handle to be and I cut my nautical rope and then I stick it uh, some hot glue down in the hole and then firmly press the handle in place. I then take the excess rope and determine how big I'd like the hole to be in the front of the pot. I cut a piece of rope off and then I glue the two ends together to form a circle. Then I apply glue to the back of the circle and I press it on to the front of the beehive. I then take a paintbrush with my black acrylic paint and paint the inside of the circular part of nautical rope. This will make what looks up like the beginning part of the hole where the bees would go in to the hive. The final two steps are just decorative. I add two wooden bees that I made using wooden round beads and scraps of plastic for the wings and I attach a bow to the top. And that's our finished product. Hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. And here's the finished product. I think it turned out super sweet. I love the way that the little bees make it look so realistic. This would make a great gift or even a decoration for your house. 